Hello, this video is just going to be a quick explanation of how I have the walk snail extension module connected up um, to uh, control a standard servo. So if you look at the camera on the front of my car, I have it set up. To work head tracking from the goggles so it's just a standard nine gram servo connected to an express lrs pwm receiver and the servo was connected in in this case in channel four and with the goggles extension module using the output on the left hand side of the module connected to the trainer port of a radio and set up in OpenTX, you can control the servo. And if I had another servo there, um, say for tilt, then tilting the goggles up and down would also move that. So what it means then is you don't need to go out and buy an expensive uh, GM3 uh, gimbal if you just want simple pan and tilt. You can use a three pound servo um, or two of them with your camera mounted on it and do pan and tilt. Okay, so, so how exactly did I set this up? Well, if we look at the module first, we have it powered up using the Y lead that comes with the extension module and I have the uh, the cable, the, the 3.5 millimeter jack cable also connected in. The four pole end of the cable goes into the module and the five pole end of the cable goes into the goggles. Once you have it all powered up, then inside the goggles, in the device uh, area of the menu, you will see an option um, for head tracking, head tracking, and it becomes available. For this setup, we need to set it to PPM mode rather than PTZ. PTZ mode um, in the options is effectively, so the gimbal, is connected directly to the VTX. That's not what we're doing. We're using kind of old school PPM. So we set the module in the menu to PPM. And with PPM head tracking, you're able then to set up what channels um, the, the signal is being sent to. Um, in the goggles there, I have it set to channel uh, seven, eight, which basically means uh, on the radio, we need to find trainer port channel 7 for panning and if I had another servo on there, trainer port 8 would be used for uh, tilt. So in the radio then, we connect the head tracking cable, which is a two pole cable. Actually, it's a cable that came with my uh, Cobra X goggles. It connects from the side of the module. It's just a two pole all along and into the trainer port of your radio. In your radio, go to your model. And what you want to do is scroll and set trainer mode to master jack. Then scroll along to your inputs. Now I have the uh, servo connected to channel four on the receiver which is normally for a quad or a plane set to rudder, but it's a car, so it doesn't have any of that. So you go down to the, uh, the channel that you have it selected to, edit, and the source, which would normally have been set to rudder on the sticks, you select trainer port seven, because that's what I set it up on, on, the, uh, on the goggles in the head tracking menu. The other things you're seeing there with regards to the the throttle, whether it's 100, 75, 50, and this SC switch. Uh, basically what I've done there is the throttle channel I have running through a three position switch. And in the mix, I just have each one of the switch positions set to a different throttle scale effectively. So with the, the switch SC fully up, I've got full resolution of the stick and it'll give me full 100% throttle 
available. Um, and with the other positions, 75% throttle or a 50% throttle kind of limit or scale. That's kind of handy just for if I'm just tootling along the footpath with the, the goggles on. Um, it's actually really difficult to drive along at full speed. So I just kind of have a little kind of speed setting change in there. And it's also kind of handy as well for whenever I give the, the car to my son to drive around. And um, with the goggles on, I can kind of restrict the speed down just so he doesn't fly full speed out into the middle of the road. And with channel five there, what I've actually got is effectively an arm switch. And um, I have the center of the stick and then flick that switch and the car will move forward and backwards. And again, this is more of a safety thing for my son. So if he panics and forgets to move the throttle back to the center position, all he has to do is flick that switch and it's a kill switch. So these are just little extra open TX things that I did just to when I'm driving the car, just to make it a little safer and a little easier to kind of uh, manage. So yeah, that's just a quick overview then of how the how the head tracking coming out of the walk snail module set up in PPM mode. And I have it set coming out channel seven and eight. How it connects to the servo that's connected to the PWM receiver and how that PWM receiver gets its input from the goggles. So the movement from the goggles heads down the cable into the radio out channel four on the radio, which is picked up by the express LRS receiver in channel four. And it sends then the signal to the servo to move the servo when the goggles move. When I'm driving along and I need to tilt my head another way or it's slightly doesn't align, you just press the back button three times and it resets. Um, what I have noticed, if the goggles are in analog mode, so if you kind of wanted to do head tracking with this in analog mode, when you press the button three times, nothing happens. So kind of the, even though the head tracking is active as soon as it has power, and because I have it set up to output in PPM mode initially, you could, in theory, uh, use it with an analog setup. But if you need to uh, readjust your head, if you're tracking something and you need to track it, and obviously your head's moving to the to the side and you want to, to reset, you press that button three times and it turns. But if this was an analog VTX with an analog camera, pressing that button three times to reset, wouldn't actually do anything.